Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your December 8th through the 14th, 2019 general reading. It is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Gemini, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this. I pull three cards for the week. Okay, so Gemini, how you come into the week? It's the Ace of Wands, very nice. The advice here is the Queen of Wands. Okay, even nice. And the outcome here is the Four of Swords. Okay. So automatically, I see that some someone wants to reconcile, wants to salvage a situation, a relationship. They've been toiling over this and with this for a while. This Gemini has, or maybe there's another individual who feels this way about you Gemini uh, the advice here is to under to know that you you need to be outgoing you need to be charismatic you need to have the the nerve the gumption the confidence to move on whatever it is you want to move on or whoever it is um, what's the worst you can hear no be ready for that when you go into a situation with no expectations but you go into it for you and to to reconcile and to rectify the situation for you then disappointment is low if you don't get the desired outcome if i say that i want to go to ex uh ex-boyfriend and tell him how i've been thinking about the relationship how I think we can salvage the relationship compromise come back together uh, how we can work on this and I go into it not expecting him to say okay let's do it and I just expect nothing from it I, I just want to release the emotions the thoughts that I have in regards to this ex then um disappointment is low and that's who, who the queen of wands is she does things for herself this could be a male or a female but this is the energy you need to take on remember the queens are the doers of the zodiac so she's she's out there she's putting herself before that situation and he or she is accepting whatever comes out of it because partly this you know my desired outcome my end game here is for us to get back together but if that doesn't happen I still accomplish what I wanted to accomplish by telling you expressing my feelings uh, getting this heavy weight off my shoulders um, and, and expecting nothing nothing more than the opportunity okay it says go after your own health wealth and happiness you want something to start or reignite or restart this is about the doing also clearly you want to come back together with someone you're, you're pondering the outcome is you still toy you know toiling with this situation going over it in thought wanting to heal the connection wanting to come back together after a significant amount of time away four months, four years, four weeks. It could be any significant amount of time, but you or they, you want to come back together. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or you could be dealing with the queen of, you could be dealing with uh, the king of cups with, who could be a, a Libra, a male, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be anyone. Okay. So, we have work as the first shell so you guys want to work on something or you're doing work mental issues all right so maybe you want to work on those mental issues that keep you hung up on a certain person place or thing it looks like it could be in regards to a person uh, it could be in regards to uh, your work or the work that you do um, some of you are, are taking to or taken to an outlet like drinking smoking going out distraction 
to not deal with uh, these mental issues. This and so mental issues don't get hung up on that. Like, what are you trying to say? I'm crazy? No, mental issues can be very much as simple as. I constantly think about this person. Well, no, that is a mental issue. You're mentally hung up on this person, this job, this family member, whatever, some trauma. It has caused you blockage. So some of you may be dealing with some mental issues. Either you or the other person. Um, there could be a situation where um, there is a... I what I see here is that some of you are thinking about going to said individual and it what is keeping you from it because the outcome is a four source you're not taking action on it you want to do all of this you come into the week concerned about your own health wealth and happiness and take wanting to take action the Queen of Wands is the advice you need to go ahead and do it but then you go right back to the four source I need to ponder this some more and maybe you do or, or maybe that is the mental blockage or issue here okay so Gemini take the advice of the cards be courageous be bold be outgoing be charismatic be um, fearless um, go after what it is you want okay all right so I hope that this week turns out very well for you Stay tuned for L's Corner, L's Real. I don't know what to call it. I want to name it something, but stay tuned for um, the next segment of this. Also, if you want to get your own personal reading, the links are below. Take advantage of the coupon codes below. Their three readings are still on sale. We also have gift cards if you want to gift this holiday season. The gift of clarity, um, of dating advice, all right? So take care, guys. Um, happy holidays. Bye. Hello everyone. So today on L's Real Corner. All right. So today we're going to talk about emotionally unavailable men. You can pertain this to women too, but the demographics of my channel are is more women watching uh, the videos, uh, subscribing to the channel than men. So I apologize if you're a man and you like women or same sex, just apply it to your life, right? Okay. All right, so emotionally unavailable men, women, cat, dog, whatever, are basically non-committal. Okay, those these are non-committal people. These are people who are not able to make any lasting commitment with you, uh, with anything or with anybody. It, it might spill over into every facet of their life. We're talking about. More so relationships, romantic relationships. Um, so that's that's what we have here. Not they may be non-committal because they're still dating other people. They could be married, uh, in love with another, or there could be significant emotional trauma that just doesn't allow them to commit. Um, and which, hence, they are emotional emotionally unavailable so when we look at when we dissect this this term here we kind of look at it from an aerial view and we say emotionally unavailable the mind wants to rationalize that that statement in regards to the person that we like or love and say that no 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 that they're not emotionally unavailable because you know, they tell me how much they like me, they compliment me, they touch me, we have sex, blah, blah, blah. So you rationalize and you say, they're not emotionally unavailable. They are whatever you want to deem them as. But emotionally unavailable, what should be inserted into that statement is this person is unavailable to invest emotionally with you see an investment is it's a relationship it's i put in and then i'm going to receive out it is um it is equal in a sense suppo supposedly you know 
um, it is a relationship. It, it could be if, an if-then relationship. If I do this, then I'll get this. This type of person, the emotionally unavailable person, is not investing in anything. They're surface dwellers. So when you say, no, my guy's not emotionally unavailable because he compliments me. Well, let's see what emotionally unavailable men or women are. They're complimentary. They're seductive. You know, so if you're trying to rationalize that your person isn't emotionally unavailable because they tell you how nice you look, well, that is a key factor of an emotionally unavailable person. It is to dwell on the surface. We're not going deep about anything. Okay? Because they are void of they, they, they just don't have the capacity for whatever reason. We've got some reasons here. It could be more uh, to invest emotionally. Okay? So you get an emotional response from them, but it's not a real investment to tell me that I look nice in my dress or I have a nice body or uh, you like the way I we had sex when I did this move or that move. That's complimentary. They, they are that. They will compliment you. They will... Um, put themselves on the line for, you know, for those purposes. So let's look at what emotionally unavailable men or women people are. Evasive, seductive, complimentary, rigid, and routine. Key point right here. Rigid in their routine. They will not allow you or pretty much anyone, but definitely you, because we're only talking about you and this other person, right? They will not allow you to dictate, uh, interfere with, mess up a routine. So if they tell you that we're meeting on Monday at 6 p.m. at this place, and you say, well, no, I, you know, Monday isn't good for me. Let's do Tuesday, um, maybe at the same place, uh, 7 p.m. No. This is what I want. I want it here now, that time. If you can't do it, then okay. I'm okay with not seeing you. I'm okay with us not getting together. But it has to be on my term, my terms, my routine. And their routine about that. You know, they see you on these days. Maybe because on the other days they are either dating, married, in love with another, or there's significant there's some significant emotional trauma. So when they do get close to people, they back away. So they only want to, you know, they, they have a routine for how they deal with people. They're always in control. They always want to be in control. To be out of control of a situation where they're not investing in it emotionally would would deem it as would deem this situation as one that they are willing to invest in, willing to do the give and take, willing to allow you to take the ring sometime. No. They're not into that. There's no um investment here. They're unavailable completely. Okay? So this is the definition of the emotionally unavailable person, right? So right now, right now, you need to determine if you're dealing with an emotionally unavailable person or if you are that emotionally unavailable person. So my question to those who say, yes, I'm dealing with the emotionally unavailable man or woman, uh, you have to determine right now, right now, what is your end game here? What do you want from this situation? What is the end game? A lot of you, we talked about this last time, the end game. You just go through relationships. Some of you even going through life. No real end game. What's the end game? Okay? Uh, what would make you content in this relationship? Yeah, uh, contentment. Yeah, in this day and age, we have been fed that contentment is a bad thing. It is a bad word. You should never be content. You should always be striving for more, 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 better, better, better. But contentment is not bad if it's within 
your reason and if you have defined it completely and utterly and you only define that once you figure out who the hell you are what you want and then you can start to ask the answer some of these questions like what is my end game right okay so anyway moving right along you say um i say what is your end game most of you are going to say it's commitment you want this person this non-committal person to commit okay so you're asking for something um you're asking for this person to give you something that they're not open to giving or maybe they don't even know how to give right so you're trying to get water from the rock okay granted it can happen it can happen but i do want you to know that this is not this is not a situation an emotionally unavailable person this is not a situation that happens overnight. It's not a situation that, that doesn't happen without drama, without the breakups to makeups. Just It's not a situation that you just say, okay, I want commitment, and you tell the person, and they say, great, I've been non-committal all this time, and you've come along and asked me for a commitment, and now I want commitment. No, it doesn't work like that, okay? Um, especially if you're dealing with a married individual or someone who is in love with another. How will you know these things, right? If they're still dating other women, there's emotional trauma, married or in love with another person. Learn your person. Ask questions. Ask. B, here's the tarot for you. The page of swords. Be inquisitive, be curious, be asking the questions. Spy within reason. If they have social media, look at the social media. If there's a mutual friend, ask sur surface level questions to gain knowledge about your person. Learn your person. This is if you want commitment. Learn this person so you know what you're dealing with. You know who you're dealing with. The most, I say this every single time, or I ask the question, every time I, I do a reading, a personal reading, the, the other person, the quarant wants to know, well, how does this person do this? And how do they feel about this? And blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, have you even talked to this person? Have you asked any questions? You have to ask. Okay, so you say, well, I'm not gonna get the truth. Sometimes asking the question is not about getting the truth, expecting, uh, the asking is not in the, you know, in the expecting. You are gonna get whatever you're gonna get, right? But you can always draw back on when you have the conversation, when you ask the question. If you say, L, um, how long have you been on YouTube, right? You're expecting the truth from me. But let's say I lied. You say, oh, yeah, I've been on YouTube, doing YouTube videos for seven years. Well, we know that that is not the truth. You, We both go on about our lives. You find out that I've only been doing YouTube videos for two years, uh, well, three years. And then you say, you come back to me, you say, well, I, I asked you the question. How long had you been doing YouTube videos? See, you hold a person accountable for their words. You've heard the term, uh, you know, my word is my bond or words are our bond. You can, it's surety. It's like a surety bond. If I ask you if you are single and you're married and I find out that later down the line, that I have, you have to be held accountable. That person, you don't give that person an out. Because now when you find out, you you say, you said you were single. I found out you were married. They'll say, they can't say, well, you never asked. You say, no, we had this conversation. I asked the question. You lied. So that makes you a married liar. I'm done. But anyway, moving right along. You want to be asking questions. You want to be the page of swords. Learn your person. If you want commitment from a non-committal person, you have to know what they're dealing with within themselves. You have to know what they're dealing with 
within their own life, okay? So you you start, you become the page of swords and you start asking the questions. An emotionally unavailable person, man or woman, man or woman will probably most likely elude or, or move toward, toward evasiveness. You start asking questions. It's no more surface level. You're trying to go deep. You know, um, you may say, well, I only see you on Wednesday and Friday. What are you doing, you know, the other days of the week? Or I know you see you work, blah, blah, blah. But um, maybe we can get together on one of those other days. If they start to be evasive, then you know, what is that? That says emotionally unavailable men, but women too. Anyone, it, they are what well, evasive, so you know that you're dealing with that. You know that this is the seven of swords. When people start to be evasive, seven of swords, there is more to the story. They're giving you now, this is when they start to either play mental games, they give you just a little bit, or they just completely change the subject. They go back to being either seductive or complimenting you. Um, in some fashion, they go back to surf, to being surface dwellers. So you know that, okay, I'm dealing with a highly unavail you know, emotionally unavailable person. All right? Because they become the seven of swords. Now, at this point, you can deal with this shit, I wouldn't. Um, if you want to continue to deal with this, state your claim. Be the Ace of Swords. Stating your claim is, I feel like our relationship needs to go to another level. I feel like I don't know you at times. I would like to get to know you. To know you outside of the bedroom, outside of doing something like going to dinner or um, drinks. I just, I want to really spend more time with you, around you, because I would like to get to know you, all right? They're probably gonna run back to evasiveness or or you're messing with the rigid, the rigidness of their routine, right? So, um, in stating your claim, you say, I would like to get to know you. And if that is not an option, then, you know, we might need to be, this is when you start to create boundaries with this person this emotionally unavailable person. Um, you start to create those boundaries. You say, if I can't get to know you on a different, deeper level, then we need to probably, you know, see each other less, or maybe you or I need to get to a better place where we're wanting the same thing. You put the ball into their court. You create that boundary, which is the seven of wands, okay? Create the boundaries. Blockage now. You, they can't get to you with all of this doing, all of this surface dwelling, being seductive, complimenting you, uh, you know, showing you a good time. They can't do that. You've created the boundary. You're the seven of wands. You stated your claim, and now you're creating the boundaries. Now, after you create the boundaries, you're going to have to wait for results. If this surface dweller or this emotionally unavailable person really comes into their own and really digs deep and says, you know what, I really like this person. Maybe I should treat them a little better. Maybe I should open up a little more. They'll come around, right? Or maybe they won't. You need to be at this point waiting for results. The Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is someone who there's a temporary pause, okay? Um, but but do understand that good news and, and good tidings, this turning in your favor, um, whether it's the fact that you may have to walk away permanently or that this person comes back around, it's still all good either way. Because I'll tell you why, but let's go back to Seven of Pentacles. Waiting for results, you're the Seven of Pentacles. You're not being pushy. There might not even be a lot of communication. You're just, you're just waiting and you're waiting for the return on your investment. You invested. 
you are emotionally available. This person isn't. You've stated your claim. You've created the boundaries. And now you're waiting for results. And if you do not get the result that you want, Maybe this person never comes back around or they come back around to being emotionally unavailable. They, they still come back around being evasive, seductive, you know, the same old thing that you might need to, uh, this is why the, I put the world here. You, now you need to go into the next chapter. You need to learn the freaking lesson. The world is about achievement, learning the lesson, going to the next chapter, moving on from situation. Okay. You, some of you may need to walk away permanently. It's not going to turn in your favor, especially if you want commitment. Determine what you want. What is your end game here? If you just want to hang out with the person, you like having sex, you like having escapades, you like all of that stuff, then continue. Scratch all of this. Just know what you're dealing with, right? If you want more, you're going to have to walk away permanently if this person is just not ready to give you what you want. That is easier said than done, but it can be done. That is the that is hence that's the operative word. It can be done. You're going to have to turn into the world. Learn the lesson, walk away. A person can institute these types this type of behavior when they've completely accepted themselves and they've come into their own and there's no trauma um, there's no emotional trauma that they're dealing with. When you're hurt, you find another hurt person and you deal with this karmic situation. But when you are whole, you're, you're healed, you, you see the lesson in this and you and you can walk away, be able to walk away. Um, emotionally, um, stable, balanced people who have gone through, who have learned the lesson, are able to walk away. Uh, we're at 19 minutes. Shit. So you need to be able to, to walk away. Um, if you if the result is this person is coming back and being the same. And some of you, you'll get a turnaround. You'll get the person coming back and um, giving you exactly what you want. Still, the world. Now you're going to the next chapter. Because you now know how to deal with, with situations you can readily identify. Also, with me writing the tarot, um, the significance of the tarot in here is, of course, this is a tarot channel, is to bring in the tarot. But it's also, uh, if some of you have tarot decks at home and you pull cards for yourself in regards to situations, relationship, or business or family or career, whatever, you know, if, if you pull a card and you ask the cards, how should I be or what should I do um, in regards to dealing with this guy and you pull the page of swords, then you know you need to ask questions. You need to be more inquisitive. You need to be more cu curious. You need to be willing to learn. Learn this person. You don't know them. You do need to do the investigative work. The Page of Swords is the investigator because eventually he's going to turn into the scientist, the King of Swords. So anyway, but you got to do the work of learning them, right? So we have all these sevens here, seven of wands, seven of pentacles, and the seven of swords. The seven talks about marriage, relationships, um, um, business, business partnerships. It talks about sharing it talks about interpersonal uh, dynamic or connection, how this person comes off. So if you're pulling a seven of swords for your person, then you know there's more to the story. They're giving you a bit and not the whole. So anyway, I hope that this was informative to you. Um, thank you for being here. Continue. Share this. This is relatable information for for anybody um share this video okay thank you guys take care guys